I'm going to introduce you now to tongue twisters. Have you heard about tongue twisters? Tongue twisters are exercises to get yourselves ready to say all of the poems and do all of that speaking in the best way you can. A tongue twister is a sentence of words that make you really twist your tongue. <laughs> Would you like to join me with one? Mm, here it comes. So the tongue twister for today is set in a supermarket that you may know. It begins with S and it's about a guy who works there and he only sells one thing well it's two because it comes in a pair a pair of socks his name's seth and he works at that supermarket there's lots of s's and there's a sneaky th as well in there this is how the tongue twister goes seth at sainsbury's sells thick socks did you catch it seth at Sainsbury's sells thick socks. Oh, I've just realized there's two THs. Seth at Sainsbury's sells thick socks. We're gonna try it three times on the trot. Here we go. Seth at Sainsbury's sells thick socks. Seth at Sainsbury's sells thick socks. Seth at Sainsbury's sells thick socks. Make sure those THs don't trick you. See you at the next one. This poem talks about playing in the playground. It's called First and Last and it's written by a lady called June Krebin. The person who's talking in the poem is talking about what they like to do in the playground but also that they like to be the first person in the playground and the last person in the playground. Have a listen. First and Last by June Krebin. I like to be first in the playground. I like to stand by the tree. I like to imagine that all this space belongs entirely to me. I walk from the tree to the waste bin. I walk across to the hedge. I zigzag across to the bushes. And then I go right round the edge. When my friends arrive in the playground, that's when the real games begin. But I'm not a very fast runner, so I don't often try to join in. Sometimes they say, are you playing? As I practice bouncing my ball. But they always ask too many people. I'd rather stay by the wall. And when I hear the whistle at precisely five to nine, and everyone rushes and pushes, I choose to be last in the line. I like to be last in the playground. I take a last look around and then I promise myself that tomorrow I'll be first in the playground again. Yes! <laughs> venga, venga! Do you know what? I love saying that. <laughs> so it's time for Venga, Venga. As you know, we always have a chance to do it in class. So this time I think I'm just going to play the game. Venga, venga! Venga, venga, I'm gonna mix it up. Ooh la la, ha ha, ooh la la, the dragon is coming. Ooh la la, but darling, I love you. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Ooh la la, ooh la la, as small as a mouse. Aha, you thought I was gonna go with elephant first, didn't you? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. As small as a mouse, as small as a mouse, as big as an elephant. As big as an elephant. Save the world. Save the world. I'm looking for the man who's got my paw. Hula hula. <laughs> hula hula. The dragon is coming. As small as a mouse. Oh no. Don't let me trick you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Here we go. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Ah! I'm looking for the man who's got my paw. Oh, I'm looking for the man who's got my paw. You bet you are. Yeah, I think that's enough, Venga Venga. Shall we move on to something else now? All right then, let's go. 
here is today's poem to share. Oh, it's quite a goodie actually. Well, I only choose good poems, let's be honest. It's quite a goodie. It's written by the poet Judith Nichols. Now, you might have heard of her because I do use her poems from time to time in school when I'm teaching or when we're just looking at poems just to see what we like. And she's written this poem and it's called What is One? And it's a question because there's a question mark in it. So she's saying, what is one? And she's asking this question, what is there one of in this big world around us? So I'm going to have a read and I want you to listen first of all and think, how does this poem make you feel? Okay, how does it make you feel inside? Have a listen. What is one? By Judith Nichols. One is the sun. A rhino's horn. A drop of dew. A lizard's tongue. One is the world, a lonely whale, an elephant's trunk, a monkey's tail. One is an acorn, one is a moon, one is a forest felled too soon. And that's her poem. How did it make you feel? Did it make you feel quite calm? Because many of you that I've spoken to and you've told me that you love poems say, well, I really like poetry, Miss Naomi, because it helps to relax me. With all the things that are going on in my world, it just helps to relax me. Maybe it made you kind of think, oh, these things are so important on our planet, we've got to look after them. So maybe it made you feel quite urgent, quite, oh, we've got to do something about all of these wonderful things on the planet. I don't know. For me... It makes me think of, oh, it, it makes me smile, it makes me feel happy because I think of all of these things that are in the planet and that I'm part of it. And some of those things are not great, like it says a lonely whale, and then it talks about the forest at the end, but I'm part of this huge, wonderful world, and I am one, and so are you. I'd like you to have another listen again and this time, I want you to think about all the different words that are in this poem. And if there's any that you're not so sure about, because I know there's a word in the end that I want to tell you a bit more about. So this time, have a listen, think about the words and see again if it makes you feel the same. All right. What is one? By Judith Nichols. One is the sun. A rhino's horn a drop of dew, a lizard's tongue. One is the world, a lonely whale, an elephant's trunk, a monkey's tail. One is an acorn, one is a moon, one is a forest felled too soon. Mm. That end is really interesting. Do you know what the word felled means? So you know fall means to, oh, tumble over. So if you imagine that there is a forest full of trees and if all those trees are felled, it means they're all cut down. So at the end, Judith says, one is a forest felled too soon. She's saying that this is this wonderful forest and they get cut down too soon. Okay, because we need those forests up. We need those trees in our wonderful world. So she's talking about all these wonderful things that we need to keep and we need to look after and we are part of that, yeah? This time I'm going to read it through. Yes, I'm going to do my actions. Third time it says, Miss Naomi, do your actions. So have a look and have a listen again. Here we go. What is one? By Judith Nichols. One is the sum. A rhino's horn, a drop of dew, a lizard's tongue. One is the world, a lonely whale, an elephant's trunk, a monkey's tail. One is an acorn, one is a moon, one is a forest felled too soon. 
Did you catch all of those actions? Uh huh. Remember, remember what I said that failed means to fall down. Yeah. So if we cut all of those trees, they fall down. So that's why we have the action at the end. Shall I show you again? Okay. Why don't you try saying the words with me and having a go at the actions as well? But I'll go nice and slow for you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Now, some of you do this, some of you don't. So join in if you want to. Fingers high. Fingers low, fingers fast, fingers slow. And if you want to, you can do this to do the stop in between, okay? But you don't have to, all right? Here we go. What is one? By Judith Nichols. See if you can do the actions too. One is the sun, a rhino's horn, a drop of dew, a lizard's tongue. Whoop. One is the world, a lonely whale, an elephant's trunk, a monkey's tail. Oh, ah, ah. One is an acorn, one is a moon, one is a forest felled too soon. How did you do? Ha ha! Did you get those actions and those words? Mm. Now because we're growing up, I've brought in a bit more of a difficult poem. Yeah, because we're getting ready to go into the next year at school, yeah? So, as we're growing up, I'm going to give it to you one more time, but I've got to go quicker. Yeah! So see if you can keep up with Miss Naomi, but not too quick. Okay? So we're going to do words and actions. Are you ready? <clears throat> if you want to. What is one? By Judith Nichols. One is the sun, a rhino's horn, a drop of dew, a lizard's tongue. Woo! One is the world, a lonely whale, an elephant's trunk, a monkey's tail. Oh, ah, ah. One is an acorn, one is a moon, one is a forest felled too soon. How did you go? Did you do okay? Mm. So what I'm going to do, yes, you've guessed it. I'm going to leave the words up at the end. Thank you so much for joining in with my class. It's really lovely to know that you're joining in and you're joining in with the poems and you're joining with Venga Venga and you're just having a great time. I love it. I'm having a really good time showing all these new poems with you. Now, I think it's time to say goodbye. Don't you? <laughs> See you soon, my darlings. Take care. Remember to look at the words at the end. I'll put them up for you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.